So the predecessors of uh, VPMN, uh, we have uh, flowcharts. Everybody knows about flowcharts, right? Did you know that they were uh, invented in 1921? It's for uh, um, modeling the assembly lines for Model T Fords, basically, and other things that were driven by steam engines. So how is that applicable today? It's not. Why are we still using it? It's ridiculous. Um, it, you know, it, it has evolved in, in time, but just the you know the fundamentals of it is it's just wrong to begin with. It was based off of a model that's completely obsolete in today's time. One of the things that changed everything was uh, the internet. Right around you know 1995, 1996. At that time, we should have adopted a new methodology, but we just we just did. Okay. So uh, workflow diagramming is is uh, very popular these days. Everybody talks about workflow. What's the difference between workflow and VPM? And everybody's just kind of confused about this. You know, uh, most uh, um, most people I talk to, they're looking for a workflow engine, and then we start talking about VPM. Well, so uh, a lot of these uh, methodologies came out in the 1980s, uh, 1990s, and so forth. And then um, you have the uh, XPDL, which is from an organization called WF. WFNC Workflow Management uh, uh, Coalition. Um, this uh, XPDL was uh, started in uh, 1993. It's all really based on the uh, workflow concepts. Uh, EPML uh, was something that uh, my current employer was very heavily involved with uh, back when it was uh, developed, and uh, it was uh, basically ended up being part of this BPMI, which is the BPM Institute, which then was later bought out uh, by OMG, and uh, that's how BPMN uh, came to be. So its roots go all the way back in the 1920s, but basically what we're talking about is an evolution uh, beyond some of these other um, methodologies that are, that are out there. And uh, it actually shares a lot of the same shapes and symbols, as I'll show you a little bit, but it's, uh, it's an evolution in the way that it's being used today. 